Good morning, every, everyone. My name is James Dooney, and I have been asked by Mr. Prabhaka Singh to join in a project to help introduce soft skills training into the Indian education system. First of all, a little bit about me. I'm from Adelaide, Australia, and I'm 43 years old. I hold a Bachelor of Arts from the Flinders University. My major was social sciences. In the last 15 years of my life, I've been teaching ESL, English as a Second Language, in Asia, namely in Japan, Korea, and China. Through this work, I've become very, very interested in lecturing and teaching in the art of communication, particularly these days in soft skills. Prabhaka has indicated to me that the education system in India is very much based on rote learning, memorization, and listening to and doing what the teacher says. That education system was good a few years ago. Sadly, though, this is the modern world and the education system needs to change. It sounds like this education system might be lacking in teaching the skills of critical thinking and asking why. In modern society, these are two very, very important skills. The world is now a global place. We need to get communicating with each other. And one of the best ways to do this is through learning soft skill training. Soft skills involve understanding, listening, thinking about, comprehending, questioning, and responding. When we do soft skills training, we learn not just to hear, but to listen. We learn to comprehend through speaking and nonverbal cues. We learn to think about the information that we have been given, and we learn how to question the information. The world is a global place these days, and myself and Prabhaka, we want to help educate the Indian school children right from elementary school, middle school, and high school, the key important points of being able to use soft skills, to think critically, to ask why, and to think about how they apply in modern society. India has had many, many great success stories. Mr. Bhakchan, Aishwarya, Gandhi, Indra Nooyi, and of course Sachin. And they didn't just become successful by listening and repeating somebody else. They became successes by thinking and questioning for themselves. Let's create the next Indian Sachin. Thank you.